Hey buddy, uh, so we've just spoke to you um, yeah. about your politics, but actually behind the politics is a person. Yeah. So I'd just <clears> like to ask you, um, as a young person, yeah. um, and how old are you? I'm 26 years old now. Okay, we're yeah. the same age. <laughs> <laughs> so we're both young people. Yeah. And I think for young people to be active in politics and to make a difference, yeah. we have to start young. Yeah. But also you have to have the right personality. Yeah. So. What do you think? Do you know any people in Finland who you think are making a big difference? Who you think are good examples? Uh, you know, if we, if we talk about personally, for myself, this comes from the attitude. Like, what kind of attitude you have, and and how ambitious you are about doing something or changing something in society. But as a youth, well, most of the idols they weren't youth, but. Like if you follow their histories, for example Nelson Mandela, or even in Finland like Mart Ahtisari or the other political figures, uh, they started at a young age. So so that that gives you the ambition to be to be like them or do something change or maybe something that's different from their viewpoint. Yeah, because um, obviously it takes a long time to yeah. learn. Yeah, you can start learning as a child. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, yeah. social skills. Yeah. and then you go to university and you yeah. learn theory yeah and then you have to learn in real life yeah and but you have to put these things to practice yeah but that, the thing is like uh, the there's a what's called like a living learning experience so so things that you learn when you're living like not going to school but in the in like the society that you live with that 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 makes you courage as well so it's kind of like not going to the it's kind of like non living living learning experience yeah i think um the living and the learning is actually something you can't be taught. Yeah. Um, and I've read somewhere that actually, in order to become an expert at something, it might take 10 years. Oh, so, or more as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and maybe um, you never stop learning. Yeah, exactly. So the, the thing is, you have to be hunger all the time with the success and then you have to be ambition of doing something that you really like. And it's about the attitude, how you deal with the people. And, and of course, it's more personal. You have to have first personal skills. Or is that something that you want to do? So for me, it's like most of the attitude that I, I get from the other people and, and mm. the, the, the ambitious that I am, that really gives me the ability to continue as well. Yeah, because it's like, um, it's like a positive cycle because yeah. um, the more positive you are and the more ambitious you yeah. are, the mm. more people respond to you in a good way yeah, yeah. and the more they remember you and the more they like you so yeah, exactly for Finland is it different for for example I came here as a, a, a as a young boy and and for me the whole culture was different it was a kind of cultural shock firstly it was hard for me to integrate with the snow and the, uh, and the weather and then with the people and then the language so so it kind of like you, you meet a lot of a negative side when you you feel like you're alone here for example when I was at school I was the only colored boy in my school. Mm -hmm. So to integrate the whole society, it was kind of like uh, being uh, in, a, in a place that you don't want to be. But then you believe yourself, you have that kind of ambitious, you have the attitude, because all the sides are not the same. So, so that gives you the motivation as well. Yeah. So if we, if we uh, sort of fast forward maybe 10 years or 20 yeah. years, what, in your mind, um, just as an individual, yeah. what would you like to see you know, in the future of Finland? Um, uh, the f uh, I will see more... Uh, uh, Finland can be more tolerant people, that the well-being of Finland will be protected, the multicultural will increase, that there will be no racism or no, no discrimination. That, of course, day by day or year by year, the generation are changing towards a better way or a better, better future. So that's what I want to see in a Finland. A Finland that is a multicultural Finland that you, you want it to be as you are. Yeah. How do you think this fits into Europe then, um, in terms of immigration and youth politics? Do you think um, in the future, like Europeans and, and of every country, yeah. well, you think there'll be more? There should be more communication, or, or do you think this is something that might happen? I yeah. don't know if it will. Yeah, actually, it will be more, 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 more awareness and more, 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 more continuously to work through the political ways. So the youth should be more active as well. So nowadays, if you go to other European countries, the, 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 the youth are not interested that into political. Maybe they're interested more to sports or something. Even if you go to cafeterias, they, they rather talk about football or, or ice hockey or something else. But it should be more to their daily lives. And it should even start in the elementary school as well. More discussions, more multicultural education, and that will be create activity. Yeah, so to summarise, yeah. I, think, I think you're right actually, yeah. um, it, 
it does sound like you, you've got some very good personal experience mm. trying mm. to sort of you know get to grips within mm. your country and I really agree with you mm. the fact that um, you have to be enthusiastic and motivated yeah. Yeah. and in terms of if there's any young people out there who, mm. who want to make a difference mm. like you say make yeah. a difference with yeah. things that interest you yeah um, and eventually you will meet the people who can yeah. help you take it further. Yeah. Um, and I mean, we're 26, I think. I know yeah. We feel very, we still feel like very, young people. Yeah, but exactly. But we're too old. 18 year olds, 16, 18 yeah. year olds, they look yeah. at us and they're yeah. like, I'm never going to be 26. And yeah. Like, yeah. One day we're going to be 40, but you yeah, have to start because you get there before you realize. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because the the, the, no one is going to do the job for you. So you have to stand up there and do the better values that you believe in mm. yourself in a better way that other people can accept as well. Yeah. So it is difficult, but yeah, it, it, yeah, of course, it's be a long sensible talk. Yeah, and people like. yeah, of course. Yeah, just try yourself. Just, you know, trying is better than doing nothing. So, so that, that would be a good idea. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>